All right, Capricorn. Well, the first card of the month you have is the, excuse me, the Ten of Swords. All right, so as you can see, she's sitting around this campfire, and she's really imagining new ideas, new ways, because some things just have not worked anymore. The, the kettle is on top of the fire, and she feels a little bit bound by what's happened, but at the same time, if you'll notice, there's light around here. And this is cooking. This You can see the smoke going into the forest, way up into the forest. So what she's doing is she's manifesting new ideas because some of the old ways just haven't worked out, and this really solar eclipse is talking about that. So 10 is always about the final, the final before the ace comes up. And the ace is all about new. So some of you are ready to, ready to, you're thinking about leaving jobs. You could be thinking about, you know, making changes in the, the home, home life and workplace. And what I'm really noticing here on her is this part of her shirt, the white part. So while everything else feels a little bit dim and dark except for this golden hair, she feels still optimistic about it. But I'm, I'm feeling like you guys, some of you have really been through it as far as worrying or thoughts that have come up or, you know, people in your life that you've been concerned with. This is like the very end of this. This is the culmination of letting it go. This is almost a ritual for her. There's boars right here, as you can see. So, you know, they can be aggressive. So she's has plenty around her to keep her world going. These swords, these ideas, these boars, with little ones as well. This is a family, two and, and three kids. So it feels like to me that a lot of you guys are saying, okay, I'm uh, going to... Let it draw, pass on, pass up rather. That, um, and it could be too. I'm getting for some of you if you've been offered even a promotion or something to do with going up in your your um, place of work, moving up rather. That you may even pass that up. You may pass that up to go on to other things. If you have a business that could work the same way, uh, there might be a segment of your business where you thought you were expanding but you're you're going to change that and um I'm I'm feeling I'm hearing the word put some love into it put some gardens um I'm hearing gardens roses so planting new beds of flowers for yourself in other words making your life smell you know smell pretty look pretty feel pretty um, you're ready to give up on some things and you're ready and some things are ready to give up on you. So it's okay. It's, it's the 10 of swords. Let go, go move past it. All right. And the next card is the six of pentacles. So as you can see, here's this woman who's ready to be generous. This is about your money, your property. And I'm feeling like this woman right here is really watching her and and who she's giving money to. So it feels like some of you guys that are in a relationship, this is actually a pretty harmonious card. But there is a, well, it's harmonious in the fact that you, you feel generous with money or someone feels generous to you. The caution in this card is just watch who you're, being generous with because as you can see this guy has his arm behind his back and he's hiding something right here this bird is watching everything don't you love it and you know what I'm noticing in this card that I haven't noticed before is this sort of Japanese style roof whereas here's the pinnacles up here the six pinnacles actually it's starting a seventh one so that's interesting six and a half not quite to seven. So the feeling of being very generous, but who is it that I want to trust in my life? Who is it that means the most to me? 
I feel like with this greenery and with this bird, you're going to intuitively make the right decisions. It won't be like sitting around thinking about, you know, who, who you might give the most money to or what college fund or any of that. It's, it's almost like you're going to make the decision. She's holding out her hand and flowers. So she's ready to give. And I feel like you guys are responding to this a little bit. You're responding to her, the 10 of, of swords and wanting to be more compassionate. Interesting. Okay. And your next card is the Ten of Wands. So you have two tens here, Capricorn. There, And this is the Ten of Wands. And this is about taking all of your burdens, all of your responsibilities, and really feel like you're walking up this hill to the light. So it, again, it might be some of you changing jobs, just going in a different direction, and the Wands indicate your your different experiences with other positions and other jobs and that you want to move on. You're ready to move on. You're ready to move to a place that feels good to you. And, you know, she's facing this particular card. So it feels like that she's She wants to move more in this direction of feeling in harmony with her money. And so with you all, and this is men and women, these cards just, except for him, have all women, but this is for men and women Capricorns, that you all are moving out of a place of struggle, strain. I'm hearing the word remorse, so there may be some remorse on your part with the company on how you've handled some things, or there may be remorse with uh, somebody that you've worked with and how they've handled you. That's coming up big. Okay, so I feel like she's. this is what she's going, moving more towards. Harmony around her money. It doesn't have to be back-breaking. It can be easier and be more flowing. All right, and then your last card of the month, and this card came up in reverse. This is the Five of Chalices, which normally, as you can see, it, it looks like this. Let the camera, if it will. Okay, so normally the Five of Chalices is about really focusing on spilt milk. Things that have happened in our past that we feel emotional about, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a business venture that didn't go right, whether it's, you know, someone feels like, you know, they've done us wrong, done us wrong song. And she's, she's pouring out the cups right here where she has three full cups. So she's focusing quite a bit on what has gone wrong in the past. As you can see, the tree above is leafless. So it feels it just feels really dry and and she, and she's pouring out what liquid she does have where there's all this abundance right here and on the ledge and there's a pathway to clarity this fog will open up if she'll just turn around and look at the bright side of life so you know a lot of times too when we focus on when we focus on things that don't really serve us and we talk about them to other people, other people get tired of it. Now, this card did come up in reverse for you. So I feel like what I'm feeling like for you, Capricorn, is that you're moving, you're moving away from that feeling of being restricted. And again, I'm getting, it could either be work or it could be personal, family, love, relationship. It could be any of those things. But it came up in reverse. So there's either a little bit of feeling of stalled or you're taking a deep breath or you're, you're not being as emotional about what has happened. You're not feeling as emotional. But there is a little bit of stamina on that end. So I do feel like that you guys are going to reach an agreement with yourselves. This is almost like a spiritual contract 
that you're going to go ahead and move forward even with some of the you know the ten of swords that that have happened that you really want to put light on the the feelings the the thoughts rather the ideas the what you're thinking that hasn't worked out and you want to really shed more light on this ten of wands and make this lighter feeling make this take this load off so i feel like this is about you guys taking some rest and relaxation by the end of the month. And of course, I'll do the mid-month reading as well. So this theme could really go out throughout throughout the month. And with that solar eclipse, there will be things to look at in our life. What is working for us? What is not? You might be analyzing some of that, really thinking about it. She's staring down at this. All these swords are around here. Which one do I want? Which one do I don't want? This feels like the anchor card to me. This feels like where you want to be. The Six of Pentacles, happy home, generous, balance. And you're wanting to move forward towards there with your experience, your work. The, the creativeness. You know, I talked earlier about being creative with this. The solar eclipse, that's really what's going on right now, my guys, my friends, my girls, <laughs> all of you. It's really about opening up our our right brain, which will be a little bit stalled this month. But this, like I said, is going to come in stages. And as we do so, we're going to see life differently. It won't be as much about grinding, you know, and some of you too, I've worked in the corporate world, so I don't want to um, demolish that because a lot of people have a lot of great jobs and they're very happy and very proud of what they do and they're doing what they love, what they want, and it's making a difference in people's lives. I'm just saying for those of you who are not doing that, then it feels like you're working towards, towards being self-expressive opening your heart, giving love in what you do in life and to others. And you'll quit crying over spilt milk. 